All right, we're here at my outdoor worm bin, and the last time we were in here, we put a pretty big feeding in, and we added a lot of bedding, along with some cardboard rolls and a really hard, I think it was food saver roll. So we want to check on that and see how it's doing. And I mean, right here, we're already running into some banana stems, but we added in some pineapple, a bunch of banana peels, some lettuce stalks, a tomato, and a really big piece of watermelon. So let's see how they are doing. And right here, it feels really moist which is to be expected because that's where all the food was. And let's see how they're doing. Oh man, this right here. Oh, that's right. I forgot. We've got a pumpkin stem experiment going and clearly they're liking to be in the crevices where some of the castings are going. And right here feels a little bit more mushy and right here still pretty firm. I expect this to take up to a year based on AV and plant obsessed videos. So, this experiment is going to be ongoing, but here is that food saver roll. And oh my gosh, I don't know if you remember the last video, I like smacked it on my hand and made loud noises, but they have absolutely filled it with castings. I didn't put anything in here. Let me rip it open here and looks like pretty hollow except for right where they were in the front. So they started filling it in. It always surprises me how they like to kind of fill the tubes with castings or or they go in there to hide and or do their business and uh, they just take a lot of castings in. It just kind of shows you how much worm poop the worms produce and all that. Look at that, all beautiful castings. So let's keep digging in and seeing if they have any of the other toilet paper rolls or if any of the food is left. Super moist, I love it. This is This is fantastic. And I did put some water in it right after we fed because we put in so much bedding. I think this is, yeah, this is the magnolia tree fruit that we've been checking on. So the moisture level is fantastic. And because this is a fabric bin, the moisture can gravity feed out of it and leak out of it. So you never have too much moisture. That's never a problem in here, even when I add water directly to it. But yep, there we go. Lots of paper rolls there. And I don't see anything that I could recognize as food other than like an onion paper right here or a banana stem. And in here, I bet you there might be some worms. And of course, they proved me wrong. <laughs> All right. Another, another paper roll. So lots of that. The other thing I'm noticing is they have converted a lot of this to castings. Now, it's been two weeks since we were in here and we took out four pounds of castings and I could have easily done the same thing if I had taken out castings this time around, which I will definitely do next time. So let me go ahead and mix this up and we'll start with our new feeding. Really good moisture level. Oh, dry to the edges, which is to be expected and see more of the cardboard there. All right, so I've made a feeding zone here and I've put some of the old cardboard tubes that we had in here for bedding and we're gonna add even more bedding. So in goes some shredded cardboard and a little bit of shredded paper. And this is my bedding of choice, but I also like to occasionally add some other stuff in here. And one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna add some newspaper, but what I wanna do is wrap some of the food in it. So here's what we had in mind, this container just full of food scraps. And from that last feeding, they really were able to eat a lot. So we're gonna put a lot in there. And what I'll do is I'll wrap some of it and then I'm gonna put some around the edges so they can get to the stuff that's right there and then they've gotta kinda of work for it to get to the rest of this right here. So like this and kinda of make a, I don't know, it's not quite a food burrito because it's not in the right shape, but uh, maybe a food pot pie right here for them. And then we'll just add the rest right around the sides and over the top like that. Perfect. All right, here's a little bit more, and the executive producer had a good point. Looks like a uh, pita. That's a good name for that. So one of the things I like to do is add some worm chow, and I ran out, so I'm making some more, and this looks like just some coconut sugar, some coconut flour, some grits for my mom, and you can see she even put four of the grand worms. And then here is just a container with some oats, and I put all these in my Magic Bullet blender, and I pulverized them into this kind of worm chow, finely pulverized mass here. So I'm just going to kind of spread that on top, and I encourage you to look in your pantry and see if you have any expired items. One of the things I do is I check for the amount of sodium in there, just because I don't want to add too much salts into my worm bin. 
And then bam, there you go. You just grind it up and put it in. Next, we'll go in with just some used coffee grounds. And this is just another food source for them. So I like to add that in. And then finally, we'll add in some pulverized eggshells, which I just rinse and then let dry out. And then again, put it in my Magic Bullet blender. And it's just great for their digestive systems. And I want to thank everybody that offered some suggestions for people that don't have access to eggshells or vegan, that kind of thing. A lot of great suggestions for different kinds of grit that you can use in your worm bin. And I almost forgot this uh, pumpkin stem to put it in. So I'm going to put it kind of on the side here. I want it to be a little bit underneath so they get to it. And now we're just gonna bury it up. I always like to bury my food scraps. And then certainly after this, we're gonna add more shredded cardboard. I really like how they are just absolutely eating the bedding and the food that I'm giving them. And this bin, I think right now has somewhere around 4,000 worms. Originally had 6,000, but we gave some away. And I am hoping that even though it's winter, <laughs> Florida winter, high in the 80s, uh, that they will continue to breed and kind of boost this bin back up to about 6,000 where it was before. So let's go ahead and add in some more shredded cardboard. And after I do this video, I am gonna add some water in here because again, this bin drains. And I think that right there will about do it. So I hope you're all having a great day. I hope your worm bins are doing fantastic. So happy vermicomposting everybody. Take care now.